Bloops. You're on your own. Bye. Go do it. One thing they don't tell you is that stuff is not free. If you are about to hit a whole new level of the world. Count one, two, three. And don't you start the music getting to it. Won't you dance with me? Find a place and lose it. You can do it. Won't you dance with me? Move your Hey y'all, what is up? It is Marissa Nicole and welcome back to my channel. Some of you may know me as my drifting desk where I help you conquer college and that's definitely what we're going to be doing today because it is summertime and summertime is usually time for orientation. So if you are an incoming freshman to any college or university, you're about to go to orientation this summer and you're probably really excited but also nervous but you're also probably expecting a lot out of orientation. I know I was. When I went, I felt like there was so much information I'm like, oh, I'm ready. But then once I got to college, I was like, I am not ready, okay? And I feel like orientation didn't really prepare me for real life college, I guess you could say. And no, that's not the job of orientation. Orientation is for you to schedule classes, tour the campus if you haven't yet, and for you to like meet some people, get, you know, your student IDs. Like it's not meant to prepare you for college, but that's why I'm here. So I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I wish I would have learned at orientation and some of the things that orientation is not gonna teach you, but that you still need to know for college. I will give you some background to me. I am a student at The Ohio State University, but I'm a little old, so I went to orientation a long time ago. So maybe orientation has changed. I guess I can't knock it because it's been a couple years but I'm assuming they still do the same old thing and they still don't tell you these things but who knows they might before we get into the video if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing down below I do tons of videos about sorority blogs DIYs how to's hauls or college videos like this one and so if that sounds fun to you definitely consider subscribing I'm actually gonna be doing a Q&A for Ohio State coming up in about a week or two and so if you guys have any questions for me about Ohio State you know the admissions process being a first year classes majors like literally anything Greek life whatever you want to know about Ohio State let me know down below as well ask me questions because I will be answering them in a video coming up Let's get on into the video One of the first things that you're gonna notice when you get to campus is most likely you're gonna have an involvement fair of some sort This is basically where every student organization will meet up in the same kind of area And you'll be able to look at all the clubs or you know Maybe some sports that are going on and you can join those clubs and orgs and stuff like that It's super fun. I highly suggest you go but they will tell you to get involved They will tell you to go to that involvement fair and I 100% agree But also do not get too involved do not spread yourself too thin I suggest going to that involvement fair signing up for everything that you do like but then also dropping those do not be in like four or five organizations you're not gonna have time for them and you're gonna spread yourself way too thin pick about one or two that you really want to invest your time in and spend all your time doing those while you're in school one thing that you're gonna notice at orientation is that they're gonna give you a whole bunch of free things one thing they don't tell you is that stuff is not free you've already paid for all of those things there's a fee for you to go to orientation more than likely that pays for some of that stuff your tuition also pays different you know rec fees or union fees student group fees all these little fees you've already paid for all of these things and I guess that's not a huge deal but I was like oh my gosh I get so many free things like this university is great they love me ah no they're a scam you already paid for it it's not free it may take you a while to make friends in college I learned kind of at orientation that they were like it's gonna be super easy you're gonna be best friends with your roommate you're gonna be best friends with your floor mates in classes you're gonna talk to so many people and you're just gonna have friends galore for me that wasn't the case that definitely could be for you but I just want to let you know that it could take you a while it can be hard to make friends in college especially if you go to a big university like OSU it can be hard to make such a big thing seem small. It's not impossible, but I just want you to keep that on your radar. Do not have too high of expectations to be BFFs with your random roommate. It might not happen. While you're in college, you are going to hit your lowest of lows. I promise you, you will be on your bed crying and bawling your eyes out thinking that you want to drop out, that you don't have any friends, that you don't have a support system, that you can't do this. You're going to drop all your classes. You're failing. You're going to hit a spiral. You're going to hit that. Everybody does, but it is okay. I'd be worried for you if you didn't hit that. Like I just mentioned before, at orientation, they do a very good job at making you feel at home and making you feel like you made the best decision that's their job duh but what they don't tell you is that you you're still probably gonna feel out of place on that campus it's not gonna feel like home right away it definitely could but it it might not and I just want you to prepare for that on such a big campus you will still feel lonely more than likely walking to classes you're gonna start eating by yourself I remember in high school and middle school you know sitting at the lunch tables was like the popular thing to do you had to be at the right lunch table in college everybody eats by themselves and that was something that I had to get used to I didn't like eating by myself I felt lonely a lot of the time my freshman year and that's something that they don't really tell you that is gonna happen like I just said before you're gonna hit your lowest of lows but you're also gonna hit your highest of highs you're gonna ace a final you're gonna find friends you're gonna join a student org you're gonna love all your classes all your professors you're gonna love your 
your dorm, you're gonna join Greek life, whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna feel on top of the world and it's gonna be amazing. But of course, you can't have those highs without those lows and just know that they do fluctuate. Typically at orientation, they help you schedule your first semester of classes and then after that, they're kind of just like, bloop, you're on your own, bye, go do it. And for me, I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I didn't know when to schedule. I didn't know what I needed to schedule for. I highly suggest going to meet with your academic advisor every term before you're about to schedule classes to make sure you're on the right track for graduation. But also one thing that they're not gonna tell you that you'll probably learn is that you'll get a window for when your class or rank is about to schedule classes. You need to schedule your classes right when that window opens or else the class that you're trying to get could be full if you wait even a week or an hour or even a day. They go quickly, especially at a bigger university. That's kind of what I've learned at OSU. You gotta get on it. And especially if you're trying to get into a class, you have to schedule at that time. While we're on the track of classes, I just wanna tell you that it's okay to fail a class, even if you actually get like an F and fail. But also I completely understand if you're one of those people that are like a C is failing, a D is failing, cause that's me. You just gotta kind of tell yourself you're in college, you're in a different environment. Th things are different, period. You can't keep your same expectations you had in high school. You might be let down. But just know that it's okay to fail a class, whether you actually did fail or if you just failed on your terms, it's okay. A lot of people do it. Many schools have like freshman forgiveness or grade forgiveness. You can retake that class and do better. Look into your resources. One thing that they do not tell you, we you know when they're giving you all your free things is that a lot of high schoolers are like, oh, I'm broke. I'm working, you know, at McDonald's making minimum wage. You don't know broke until you're in college, okay? Because you are about to hit a whole new level of broke. Whether that's paying for classes and your tuition, if you do that on your own, paying for books, which are about to be 300 something dollars. You're gonna be paying for rent possibly, meal plans, food in general. Since you are a freshman, you're probably gonna be out partying. So you're gonna have to pay for drinks. You're gonna have to pay for outfits. If you're one of those people, I know I kind of got sucked into that. Every time there was something new happening, I had to get a new outfit for it. College is expensive, even if you're not even talking about college itself. So you are about to be broke. If you're an only child, or even if you've never shared a room before or anything like that, sharing a room will suck. You know, they make it sound so amazing. They show you these dorms. They're like, oh, they're so spacious. They're so amazing. You're gonna love it. You're not. <laughs> you're gonna fight with your roommate. It's gonna suck living in a little box. Sorry, but everybody has to do it. And even though everybody has to do that, sharing a communal bathroom is gonna suck even more. So get ready for that one, you know, cause people don't like to clean up after themselves, whether it's, you know, their hair in the drains, hair on the walls, you know, um, feminine hygiene products that don't get wrapped up and, you know, just get thrown in the trap. Like I've seen it all. It's gonna be gross. Everybody's gotta do it. I'm sure they tell you this at orientation. Maybe, again, I don't really know what orientation is supposed to tell you, but in a communal bathroom, wear shower shoes, please. It's disgusting. Just, just wear shower shoes. That's it. You're more than likely going to change your major, possibly more than once. I know I applied to OSU as a criminology and sociology major, and I went to orientation for that. But then literally, even before I came to OSU, I changed my major to psychology. So you're gonna change your major, possibly more than once. I've had like six different minors. You're gonna change minors. You're going to change your mind, and that is okay. Okay, this one is probably more for my ladies, you know? So, sorry, men. But shaving is incredibly difficult in college, and they don't tell you that because typically you're in those communal little showers stalls and in your bathtub you might have one of those little shelves that you can you know prop your leg up and just shave really easily you don't have that you're just literally in like a box so you have to like hold your leg up or put it up on this wall you have to be super flexible it, it, it'll just be a challenge and I didn't really expect that because I remember the first time I needed to shave my legs I'm like how am I gonna do this sounds fun more than likely your university is going to try to get you to buy textbooks at the either from the university or at the university bookstore just because that's what they're supposed to do, that's what they're supposed to promote. But I am here to tell you to not do that. You're gonna save more money going through Amazon or Chegg or literally any other thing other than using Barnes and Noble or the university bookstore. Don't do it. Your dorm beds, they're really uncomfortable. So please buy a mattress topper, buy a mattress foam little thing, everything to make your bed more comfortable. You need it because those dorm beds, not comfortable. The food on campus is gonna be good at first and then it's gonna get really really old really fast, especially if you have a meal plan and all you have to do is eat on campus because you're stuck with that food. You have to eat that every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I got sick and tired of it after, you know, like three weeks. So be prepared for that. <laughs> you're more than likely gonna be eating a crap ton of ramen noodles and popcorn because that's all you really can afford or anything that you can make in a dorm, you know, with your little mini fridge microwave combo. But also do not burn the popcorn. You will set off the fire alarms. It happens every year and people will do it. Do not be that person. I don't know about other universities if they're this big or if they tell you this but Ohio State at orientation I remember them telling me that like oh you can get from one side of the campus to the other in 15 minutes and it's so like small but big oh it's great 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 no you cannot I can barely get from you know one side of the oval to the other in 15 minutes like OSU is huge if I'm going from the top of the north campus to the bottom of the south campus it's gonna take me way more than 15 minutes especially at OSU because we have an ag campus which is actually across our river so you have to take a whole other bus to go across the river like there's no way so I don't know where OSU got this from but that really makes me angry so just just know that 
that that's not true at OSU. I'm sure that they're gonna hype up that like the dorms have their own laundry systems there and that's great, but also they're not gonna tell you that those laundry systems are disgusting because how many children are doing laundry in there? They probably aren't doing it right. They have dirty clothes. Your clothes are gonna come out smelling moldy. Those washing machines smell gross. They probably have not been cleaned in years. It's disgusting, so please think about that. If you live close enough, just, you know, wait till you go home, do some laundry, buy extra underwear so you can go longer without having to do laundry. I don't know, but just keep that in mind. You will be pulling all-nighters. Um, if you think that you're not a studier, you're about to be, because in college, you have to study. I was one of those people in high school where I never thought I had to study. Slowly figured that out when I was failing exams. You have to study. You will be pulling all-nighters. It's not healthy. Don't do it regularly, but there will be a time where you're going to forget to study or time's just going to hit you in the face and you're going to have to stay up all night at the library studying. It'll happen. Just remember that C's get degrees. You're gonna get lost on campus at some point. You're gonna walk into the wrong class at some point. You will get on the wrong bus at some point. You'll probably miss a class because you're lost late and get on the wrong bus. Or you're gonna miss a class because you chose to. Because you have the freedom in college. There's a handy dandy website called Rate My Professor. You need to check that before scheduling classes. See if your school is on there. See if those professors are on there. It helps a ton if you're trying to schedule classes to see if that professor is something that is gonna work well with you. If their teaching style is good. If it's not, you're gonna know by that site. It has come in handy for me. So so many times when I'm trying to schedule classes so please check it out see if your school is part of it only freshmen dress up for the first day of classes so I did it you can do it but just know that people are gonna be able to spot you out that you're a freshman if you dress up on the first day of classes or if you just kind of dress up every day people are gonna know that you're freshman that'll slowly that'll slowly give maybe about two weeks you know you won't wake up two hours before class to straighten your hair and do your makeup but probably for that first day you will you'll more than likely have to take an 8 a.m. at some point they're trash they are awful do not do it unless you absolutely have have to. I knew my Spanish class that I was taking my freshman year was only offered at 8 a.m. and it was awful. I took it, obviously I had to, but I would never take it at 8 a.m. again because an 8 a.m. in college is so much different than an 8 a.m. in high school. A lot of people want to join Greek life and Greek life is a huge thing at any school, so they'll probably talk about it at orientation. They might mention this, but also I just want you to know that Greek life is expensive. Whether that's the dues that you're paying to be in it, if you're living in the house, it's really expensive. Again, you have multiple events that you're going to have to buy outfits for, or dresses or themed outfits, and just in general, that whole culture is expensive. So be prepared for that if you're thinking about joining Greek life. The freshman 15 is real, people. That's all I have to say. Be ready for it. Party life is real on campus, obviously. That's what you see in movies. All these things that you want to be a part of when you go to college is that there's going to be parties and you want to go. Go! But please be careful. They're going to tell you to be safe. They're going to tell you all of these things, but also colleges don't want to down themselves. So they're probably not going to tell you the real statistics. But sexual assaults are real. That stuff happens. Getting drugged at parties is real that stuff happens. Getting mugged when you're walking home from a party happens. If you're getting into an uber drunk, you know, things can happen. Please be careful. A school may say that they're 100% safe. They're probably not. They're probably not going to tell you those statistics that you, you want to know. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to know because it's probably sickening, but please take care of yourself, take care of your friends, trust who you're going out with, and be safe. If you're sharing a room, more than likely, your roommate's probably going to walk in on you doing something very weird at some point, whether that's literally just changing after a shower and you're just naked in the room and you're like, was up or unfortunately you might walk in on them you know if they're doing 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 something they probably shouldn't be doing <laughs> it's gonna happen it's awkward but it's gonna happen just prepare yourself mentally i'm sure you've heard this in literally every college video ever but do not bring all of your things to college it will not fit you have limited space so only bring the necessities pack strategically you should probably carry mace you know pepper spray or even like a little mini taser with you in your purse or in your bag or something like that at all times because again college campuses are just prone to having crime unfortunately please be safe with that being said never walk around at night by yourself, especially off campus, but even on campus, don't do it. Please know that your mental health matters and if you need to skip a class because you need a personal day, do it. It's okay. Yes, your professor might not let you do that or, you know, it just... Just do it for you. Don't do it for the grades. Do it for you because if you aren't there mentally, you're not going to be able to perform anyways. So what's the point? Please take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health while you're in college. Even if your school doesn't really offer you those resources to help you do that, do it for yourself. Your dorm's probably not going to be one of those aesthetically pleasing dorms that you see on Pinterest. So just know that. Somebody's will in your dorm and you'll see it and you'll be like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. But it doesn't have to be yours. Don't feel bad if your room is not beautiful. Make it functional. You can make it cute, but make it functional first. Just know that no one, literally no one, not even the seniors, fifth year, Six years no one no one has together in college including you you don't got it nobody's got it you're all just kind of going at life together you're all in the same boat basically invest in some good walking shoes even if it's just some tennis shoes whatever kind of tennis shoes you like wear tennis shoes to class 
especially if you're on a big campus do not walk around in heels or wedges or anything that's super uncomfortable fashion is not important when you have blisters and you need to walk three miles to class one of the biggest things that you will experience in college is FOMO and you're gonna have to regulate yourself you're gonna have to be responsible you're gonna have to be able to tell yourself no or yes when you need to there will be parties probably every night your sweet mate might be doing something every night your friends are gonna want to do something every night there's gonna be something going on that you're gonna want to go to and you have to be able to say let me get my work done first and then I will go you have to be good at time management just know that that's gonna happen you're gonna feel left out you're gonna feel like you need to go to everything you don't but just know it's gonna be there and just be on track from the beginning that way you can take advantage of these things that are going on and have fun stay up to date on your classwork do well on exams study go to class and you will be fine my last one to you is something that they probably do tell you at orientation but I just want to reiterate it and that is college is supposed to be the best four years of your life and it definitely can be if you make the most of it if you have fun if you are safe and you're doing what you want to do and you take care of your mental health while you do it there's a whole bunch of variables that make it that but please have fun and be safe try new things meet new people adventure explore like do all these great things college is the best time of your life the best years of your life so have fun with it like I said at the beginning of the video I go to Ohio State University I want to hear where y'all are going in the fall please let me know down below what college you just got accepted into where you're going for orientation and you know what are you excited for for college like I wish I could go back to freshman year and do it all over again because it really was you know the best four years of my life and I do have some regrets along the way so that's why I wish I definitely could go back but all in all it's been amazing and I love going to Ohio State and I'd love to know where you guys are going so please let me know down below if you like this video or learned something new please give it a thumbs up and like I said please consider subscribing down below if you are going to Ohio State in the fall I have a fun video coming up for y'all I'm actually gonna be doing a Q&A for Ohio State coming up in about a week or two and so if you guys have any questions for me about Ohio State you know the admissions process being a first year classes majors like literally anything Greek life whatever you want to know about Ohio State let me know down below as well ask me questions because I will be answering them in a video coming up and I want to know what questions y'all have so that way I can help you this one's strictly gonna be about Ohio State but be on the lookout as well because I will be doing a Q&A about college in general so if you have other questions you can also leave those down I'll probably be posting that in another week or two but my Ohio State people welcome to OSU hashtag new to OSU you know that cringy thing that they always tell you guys to do let me know what questions you have I want to answer them for you and congratulations to getting into OSU thank you so much for watching bye